Hello guys, today we will have a very cool off-road, but not on these two monsters. Let me show you on which two luxury cars we will swim in the mud today on the road made by tanks where the toughest swamp is. These two gorgeous monsters will fight today at the tank training ground, and this is also the first test drive of the Hummer. Oleg, while you are not busy, I want to ask you a question. You haven't seen Hummer live, how it feels now. Give the audience a feeling. I think it's big and evil car. Here is the difference between a normal Hummer and our monster. The difference is very big. Look at the clearance, in an ordinary Hummer it is almost absent. But on ours it is about 0.5 meters. This is a full tank, Sergey, do you think this is enough for you to get to the first turn? Sasha, is everything all right here? This is UAZ, a Soviet technology. So this is how it should be? Yes, but if the liquid runs out here, then you can put the tube into the radiator, the car will drive, but this will not last long. Well friends, the games have begun. The head of the column is Toyota. Let me remind you that axles from Mercedes Unimog are installed in Toyota. There is some swamp here. Right behind the Toyota is our divine Hummer. I really look forward to when he shows what he can do. I will remind you that wheels from Bogger of the 44th size are installed here. Also today we will have a battle of UAZs. Because four such cars arrived today. Toyota went first. You understand that for Toyota and Hummer there are no problems here. But I note that today there is a lot of dirt. The snow has melted and there is a lot of mud. Monster. Difficulties begin. This is a very dangerous place. Toyota is fighting for survival and it succeeds.
Well done. The next monster is going to the start. I think the front of the car will now be underwater. Well done. Look at how the Hummer rides. It's a beast, not a car. I note that this is quite deep. It's a beast. It was very cool. Toyota was a little more difficult. Maybe Toyota was making the way. Sasha will try it on a combat UAZ. Go! 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 Go Sasha! Cool! Sasha, are you shocked? I didn't even with the food, our lunch is safe today. And here is the hand basin. Are you happy? Yes. This is the next UAZ. But the difference is that axles of military origin are installed here. Just look how confident it rides. Easily. <laughs> military axles are good? Sasha is a little loaded in the mud, but this car showed it right. These are all military axes. UAZ is very pleased that he went through it all. What are your impressions? Cool. Is the car running? I understand your tactics do not change. Are you still going here? Of course, I need to find out the relationship with military guy. <laughs> Sasha is very confident in his abilities and in his UAZ. Turn the steering wheel to the right.
After Sasha's attempt, are you scared? Scary. I'll tell you a little about the difference between these wazes. On the right, Belarusian rubber and military axles are installed, it is also shortened and, accordingly, weighs less. Now Oleg will show us everything from the first person. Well done. Kick the ass of this UAZ. Rides back to consolidate dominance. Is there something wrong? Was surprises today, on a level with monsters. You proved to Sasha who is who. The first wind hummer to show an example. No problem. I will remind you that tires of the 44th size from the bogger and portal axles with locks are installed here. Was cannot calm down. It all worked out. Is there something wrong? Too many turns. Hummer has proven its worth, but ahead there is a place where it was difficult for Toyota and Suzuki Samurai. I think the Hummer driver turns on blocking. Now we'll see. And here is the gesture. Rowing. Come on. It's not that easy. He will wash the wheels and leave. It's a monster. Well done. Very beautiful car and very powerful.
Do you remember that there was bootloads of Toyota and Suzuki Samurai? Yes, I remember, but then there was less water. Now the wheels are washed faster and it is easier for him to ride. But the hammer still does a very good job. Sasha is shocked that the Hummer drove like that, are you also shocked? I am also in shock, I myself did not expect that it would go like this. It's cool. We have passed tough test, and we will go further. Further it will be even more difficult. For Toyota there are no difficulties. I made a mistake. To be honest, at first I was scared. There is a lot of dirt here. Here is the Hummer. If he goes to the same road as Toyota, then it will be easier for him. He took the same road, it was easier for him. I will tell you that Sasha does not give up and he goes after monsters and he believes in his UAZ. He went around a bit. Let's go a little to the right. Well done. Platon, tell me, how to be a passenger in this UAZ? I think that this is one of the best Soviet-made cars. Because it was created by engineers who were the children of a pug and an elephant from a plug and a cockroach. Who are the great-grandfathers of our beloved grandfathers of Egypt and Yamai. I understood you. God grant you health. We're doing great, come visit us. UAZ with license plate 0777 tried but something did not work out. And the second on military axis drove without problems. The military rides very cool, also the military axles give a very high ground clearance and the car rides very well. And this UAZ is normal. And no modifications.
What happened to the car? I made myself a manual cruise controller. It remains to be improved. Do you need a gas pedal? The gas pedal is my cruise. My UAZ will go on cruise control. Errors on the panel do not get out? No, the errors are only on the gearbox and on the engine since it's just overheating. Explain how your cruise control works. The technology is very simple. There is a cord. And I just pull it. Dennis, what happened? UAZ began menstruation. What's happened? I don't know, I'll take it apart and see. Most likely, the hydraulic booster burned out and the axle shaft may have burst, an autopsy will show. Now we are surgeons. We tore the card and shaft, also tore the axle, the car itself, and we will also break the hammer. Alexander, it's not over yet, UAZ hasn't been destroyed yet. What happened to UAZ? Misuse from Alexander. What did he break? Consumables, such as cardan shaft, hubs, and axles to be exact. No, the axles are fine. Here he goes. He bought a UAZ, changed only oil, filters, engine, axles.
Did you like off-road and how do you like your Hummer? Everything is super. I did not expect what I received today. I really liked it. In the pits in which the load even Toyota Hummer showed himself very cool. It makes me very happy. Next time we will reach those birches, there is a place where no one could pass and the Hummer will already show what it is capable of. Goodbye. Ha ha ha!